Uh, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for August 19th. I'd like to show you all an opportunity uh, for a potential scalp of about 25 pips. We have, I've drawn some trend lines on here, have some Fibonacci retracement lines on here. If you notice that our Fib line, we got 23.6% uh, here at this point. We also have uh, this low, which is at uh, 109.54, I believe. In this, is what I'm looking for. It's a 109.50 level. Uh, it's a break of a trend line. And we have some possible support at this level. Uh, it's roughly 25 pips. So, you know, we if we get a break of this low and then it continues a little bit further and breaks this trend line, then we should see it come down uh, 25 pips or so right to that level, right to the... Uh, right to the 109.25 level. So that's just something to uh, keep an eye on over this next session. The market could just go higher, I don't know, but we'll definitely have to uh, keep an eye on it and see maybe a good opportunity to grab just um, a quick few pips. And you may wanna drop down to a lower time frame to, to you know, draw your trend lines on the day time frame, drop down to the hour and see exactly when the best entry would be. Let me get some of this other stuff off of here and we can go through what the ranges are gonna be. I'm looking for today's range to be between 110.61 and on the lower side, 109.26. As far as uh, support and resistance goes, looking for some resistance to come into the market at uh, 110.50 level. And as far as support, pretty much at this same level that we talked about a little bit earlier. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for that, for this particular pair. It did move down today, closed down. Uh, it's pretty much moving sideways and the bias right now is uh, sideways. Looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair moved higher in today's session. It did break my low here uh, and, and it didn't, didn't really go any further. It just got, went low enough uh, to get you in, unfortunately, even on the hour time frame, uh, looking at the trend system, it uh, you know that I use it, it got us in, but not not by a whole lot, and unfortunately it was a loss. But nonetheless, that's one of my favorite setups, and if you track it uh, throughout the year, you would definitely be rewarded for it. Now, looking at the range for this next session, looking for one. 48.26 and on the lower side 145.89. Looking at support and resistance, I think we'll see some resistance at 14900. And as far as uh, support goes, looking for support at 146.70, which is a little bit higher. That's around this this uh, area. Now looking at uh, the the pound US dollar, this pair moved higher today, moved lower and then, and then moved higher, closed up for the, for the session. I'm looking for this, uh, this session's range to be between 187.13 on the lower side, 184.89. Uh, as far as uh, support and resistance, looking for resistance to come into the market if it goes as high as uh, 1.8780. And on the lower side, look for resistance to come in at about this level at the 18600 level. That's where we should see some of the first support and resistance levels uh, for this pair going into the next session. This pair is uh, moving sideways for the most part, and the bias is sideways at this time. We'll have to see if this retracement uh, continues. Now looking over at the Swiss, we have a range between 1.1067 on the lower side, 1.0871. As far as our support and resistance goes, looking for some resistance at 1.1. And support, I'm looking for the 1.0850 level. Uh, if we continue down, I think we'll, we'll hit some pretty significant support at that level. So 
uh, be looking for the market to move to that point during this next session if it continues lower. Now, as far as uh, news announcements goes, the U.S. housing slumped by 12 percent. The U.S. housing uh, starts and, and that's for July. Uh, they went down to 965 uh, units. And crude hit uh, closed a little bit higher and hit 114.31 today. So that that's uh, probably why we saw the dollar give back some between the news announcements and the oil reversing the, by a little bit. Now we do have tomorrow. We have the Bank of Japan. They have their monthly report being released at 1 a.m. Eastern time, and the Bank of England has their minutes being released at 4:30 a.m. Uh, the Canadians have their retail sales for June being released. Uh, the estimates are that it'll be a little bit higher than last month's at 0.5%. That's being released at 8.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. So definitely keep an eye on that. Other than that, the uh, Japanese have their merchant, merchandise trade balance totals uh, for July. And that's being released at 7.50 p.m. And the estimates uh, show that it should be about double what it was last time. So this is Jason Filder. Until tomorrow, good trading.